gonna show you Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is just going to be a summer room decor video and who doesn't love a summer room decor? I feel like those are so common like so many people do them, but they're like awesome Like you can never get enough because I always want to like fix my room and like always just make it better So yeah, I'm going to be doing that for you guys And I hope you guys enjoy it because I did put a lot of hard work in this video and it turned out really cute I think and I hope you guys enjoy it and let's just get started with it mm. Go I don't know. I always do like this with my hands. All right, just go We'll have a house party, we don't need nobody, turn your teeth. Okay, so the first one I'm going to be showing you is this cute frame that says be beautiful, and it's like be you, get it? And all you're going to be needing is a frame, and I got mine at Marshalls for like $7, and I absolutely love my frame, but you can get a cheap one at the dollar store. Then you're just going to be needing some wrapping paper and whatever like design you want, and then you take the cardboard thing and cut it out to shape it. And then you just put it in the frame to like make sure it like fits and all, and it's not all bumpy. And then I went to Pick Monkey and I went to design and just played around with the text until I found what I was looking for. And I wanted the B and the Tiffle to be like the same color and the same font and then the U so it like really stands out to be you. And then I just went out and I printed that out. And then after I printed it out, I just cut it in this like, like cloud shape. I don't know. I guess that's how you'd say it. And then um, I just set it on my frame to make sure it would fit inside the frame. And then after that, I just placed it all in my picture frame. And then I took these dollar store um, flowers, I got the dollar store, and I just cut off the ends and then I hot glued them to the corners. And I really think that this made it all like BT and like, I don't know, I just, it put the whole thing together. And that's all for this DIY. <laughs> The next idea I think I came up with on my own because I haven't seen this anywhere but it was just kind of easy so all you're going to be needing is some wrapping paper and you are just going to be cutting it out to like whatever shelf or like I'm using like an old bookshelf that I already painted and um, you're just going to try and like measure it to like where you want it to be and this part um, kind of takes a while because you have to keep placing it in and then make two small cuts to where it like ends and then try and get like a perfect line across and then I just kept doing that until I um, until it like fit perfectly and then like once you're done with that all you're going to be doing is taking your tape and uh, rolling them in like little um, like, so it's sticky on both sides like the little ball things for tape and I put it on each corner and then just placed it and pushed it all down and that's it and it totally recreates your um, shelf and I just think it's awesome and so easy and so cheap like all you need is um, what's called wrapping paper and you can use any type of wrapping paper and you can change it out at any time. just this um, knob like jewelry hanger and it's awesome all you're gonna be needing is um, a piece of board or like a wood board and some knobs and then some paint and you're just going to be taking your um, board and you are going to be painting it and you want to make sure you get all the edges and I had to do two coats on this because my paint wasn't really like that great And I got my knobs from Marshalls for this like thing that was kind of broken, so I got it for like four dollars. But you can get them at like garage sales or like anything or anywhere really. And um, I just took them off and then um, hot glued them on my board. But first I placed them to like see how far I want them spread apart and like where I wanted them. And I just hot glued them. And then I took my twine and I um, braided a like hanger piece and I just hot glued that and that's all I did and it was so easy and like if this is perfect for my Alex Nani bracelets because I love hanging those on here and yeah it's just awesome
And the last DIY is so freaking cute. It is adorable. It's so like bright and colorful. And all it is is a shadow box with like some pictures in it. And all you're gonna be going to need to do is go to your computer. And I just searched like Tumblr pictures because like they're all like bright and colorful and summery. And I just love them. Summary? I don't even know if that's a word. Whatever. But I just took them and dragged them onto my computer. And then I went to pick Monkey under design. And then I clicked the butterfly. If you go to the left, you click the butterfly. And then you can click add your own photo. And then I just added the photos that I dragged off to my computer and the ones that I wanted. So I just like put them all on there so I could like print them out and not have to print a whole bunch of pages. So I did that and I did two pages. I did this, the first page and then this page. And, um, yeah, I just sized them how I wanted and then I printed them and then I just cut them out and put them in the shadow box and, you know, pretty simple, just cut it out. But with the elephant that I cut out, the elephant right there, I cut it out like a different design, like I gave it like a triangle, like, effect on the side, like, all I did was cut little, like, angles and, I don't know, I just thought it looked cool and it was different. So that's all there is to it, and it's really easy, and it's just an awesome DIY, so you guys should try it out. this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did enjoy it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more of my videos and comment down below which one's your favorite or just comment down because I love when you guys comment and I will try to respond to as many as I can also um you guys can go follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you guys would like I will leave my links down below and subscribe for more of my videos and I'll see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>